Welcome adventurers. Today we're going to talk about Rainbow Reef, a place that is so colorful and such pristine reef that pictures don't do it justice because of the unique geography of this area and active conservation efforts to protect the wildlife. Create a unique atmosphere that any scuba diver can miss. Let's dive in to Tevuni, the third largest island of Fiji, an island nation of 330 islands, but mostly people know them by the big three clustered together and most visible on a map. To get to Tevuni, you have to fly into Nadi International Airport on Livu. Then you have to take a much smaller flight to the island of Tevuni, which is a very unique experience and honestly, maybe a not a normal experience of Fiji because Fiji is a beautiful place in and of itself, but a lot of people don't go to the smaller island and it's very rustic in terms of you won't see any big resorts or major tourism there. It is much more low key and natural and pristine Fiji, which might be up your alley. Most of the dive resorts there, including the one that we stayed at called Tave Uni Dive Resort, are eco-friendly. Being that they're net neutral, they're off the grid, they create their own electricity, and they try hard to reduce their waste. So it's really cool to go and stay at such a place and see how well they operate in Dave Uni Dive Resort. Even though you might think you have to scale down your expectations from an eco-friendly resort, it definitely exceeded my expectations. It's a beautiful area and it's definitely a great dive resort. When we went in 2022, we went on a trip where we were working partially, although I will say because we work in Puget Sound time or PST, it is not a super convenient transfer of time for working being that the time we were working were missing dives. It would be more ideal if it was offset and we could work at night and have the day to dive, but it just didn't work out with our time zone. So if the time zone does work out for you, all the better, but we had to skip, we had to choose work uh, and skip the dives on the day we were working, but we had the weekends and we actually did take some time off to enjoy a full day of dives. So when you go to Tave Uni Dive Resort, or any resort there. To my knowledge, a lot of resorts will cater to you and how much dives you want to do. But I will say normally they are expecting to do two dives a day. We are kind of individuals who wanted to do more than that, three or four dives a day. And I think they are very challenged to accommodate that. They not used to individuals who like to dive a lot apparently. So. You can either do the two dives a day or make sure you let them know with advance notice that hey I want to do four dives a day and they can see if they can accommodate. It's really up to you and them, but it is not normal. One unique thing about Tevuni is that interesting nature. It is Tevuni, if you look at it, is right below one of the main islands and it creates this little passageway in between. And so the currents push water in and out throughout the day, creating a bunch of sedimentation of nutrients through the area, pushing really high nutrition waters through the area, which really creates a perfect natural environment for coral. And Rainbow Reef is the right way to describe the coral reef because I have never seen such pristine coral anywhere else in the world. I've, I've seen a lot of coral and it is really remarkable here. And a very little coral bleaching, super healthy reef. And it's from what I've read, a place of interesting scientific research, but not too much research has been done on this area. So, and it's not super popular yet because Dave Uni is kind of hard to reach and maybe it's not super touristy, but the diving is excellent. Let's talk about what you will see diving at Dave Uni. So first of all, let's talk about that beautiful coral. There's a famous dive site called the Great White Wall or just the White Wall. And what's very important is before you go, check the schedule 
because they only do it two days bi-weekly. So if you're going there for like four or five days and that doesn't overlap, it's very unfortunate with your schedule. So schedule around these days to see the white wall. But they do this because it won't be white if it's on other days. They do it because of the current and the way that the nutrients come in. And when the coral is feeding, it, it's brown. And so they call it the brown wall. And it's nowhere near as pretty or, or maybe the white part of the coral is much deeper so you won't have much time with the coral. So they generally do it on specific two days and they have it all mapped out on a nice calendar. You just have to go look at what that calendar is and make sure your trip is, if you really want to see the white wall, which I highly recommend, is, is overlapping with your days. Otherwise, it'll be unfortunate you won't be able to see it in its pristine nature. But there are some other dive sites called, if I remember right, the Green Patch or the Cabbage Patch, which is, you know, the Cabbage Patch Coral is not too uncommon. You see it in a lot of different places, but these are some of the biggest Cabbage Patch Corals I've ever seen, and, and they're very vivid green. And there's lots of fish and wildlife around it. It's, it's quite it's definitely worth visiting and seeing. And also, they usually take, the, it's a beginner dive site, so they'll usually take you there for the check dive anyway, so you'll get to see it. With the two dives that you'll do every day, you'll generally start off at the resort. You'll walk down to the boats, and I think it's like a 20 or 30 minute drive on the boat to the dive site. It gets a little long and it's a little bumpy, but it's not too bad. It's, it's the nature of the area, and it's from the shore dive and they'll generally break at this nice beach area, at least from my memory, and hopefully you get to go there too. It's a really nice beach with all these crabs walking around, and, and you can snorkel in the area for seeing seahorses, frogfish, and leaf fish. And back to the reef, you can see a variety of sharks, including white tip reef shark, tawny nurse sharks, leopard sharks, black tip reef sharks, gray reef sharks, and if my memory serves me right, I could have swore I saw some oceanic black tip sharks as well and we also were very fortunate and I believe they're rare because I haven't heard of them being there otherwise and our dive master was definitely very surprised to see them oceanic white tip so maybe you get lucky too and see oceanic white tip there as well but you have to be going to certain dive sites and there has to be a lot of current going there are tons and tons of butterfly fish a big variety of different species and it's just full of all sorts of reef fish and if you aren't planning on it, I recommend at least doing one or two night dives there but because you'll get to see the spear hunting mantis shrimp in their full glory there's a bunch of plankton that will be attracted to your light during a night dive and if you just sit there and shine it long enough you'll see them all going and you just move it over to the hole where you'll know that a mantis shrimp is and when all the action is going on you'll see them come out and start spearing the different small little fish hunting the plankton and it's really cool to watch and they are really really long it's surprisingly long it, you have to be really still otherwise they'll go back into the hole they don't want to be eaten by you and so they're very cautious and very timid so you have to be very still and wait there for a little bit but it's just really cool watching them hunt what's cool about Tave Uni Dive Resort is each cabin is named after some of the famous dive sites so You'll have to make sure you see the dive site, whatever your name of the cabin is, you'll have to make sure you see the, the, the corresponding dive site. Aside from the Great White Wall I mentioned and the Cabbage Patch, definitely check out the Purple Wall, the Zoo, and Fish Factory. If I remember right, it's either the Zoo or Fish Factory where we saw a lot of the oceanic sharks and there really was quite a lot of sharks in that area, so it was great to observe them. And also the Nuku Reef. And I believe if you're in a group where not everyone's a scuba diver, a lot of these sites are also snorkel friendly. Although I can't speak to how good the snorkel experience is, that is a nice option if you are there with family members. All right, and let's talk about Tevuni Island itself. One cool thing is, is depending on which part of the island you are on, you'll either be on one time zone or the other time zone, being the international date line. And so if you're into that kind of thing, you can go and see the international date line yourself on Dave Uni and take a picture there. Make sure you post for your social media. You really can't see anything. And if I remember right, it's just a sign that, that marks the spot, but it's kind of a cool experience. So you can check that out on a day off of diving. And you have to be careful with this because Dave Uni isn't flat and you shouldn't be climbing too high on a day that you've been diving. So you usually need like a 24 hour period before you start going up in elevation. But 
if you do have a rest day and you do have that time lapse that allows you to go up into the hills, there's some great viewpoints on top of Tave Uni that you can just drive up to and observe a lot of Fiji and the areas around it and often a lot of rainstorms or thunderstorms in the distance that look super beautiful over the ocean. Also, there's a lot of hiking on one side of the island. That is quite nice. My wife and I took a day off to go and do a lot of hikes there and you can see some really nice waterfalls and surprisingly, we were prepared to be eaten alive by mosquitoes. Surprisingly, it wasn't as bad as we were expecting. So, you know, take that for what it is and I'm not sure if it's a season that we were there but the mosquitoes are not bad and some really great waterfalls to see. And the hikes are fairly, I would say, like easy beginner friendly hikes. You really don't need too much. Make sure you take your bathing suit up there because you can go and jump in and cool off if it's a hot day. Dave Uni Island itself is a very beautiful island and might be worth exploring even if you don't do scuba diving, but definitely gives you options as a scuba diver between the scuba diving and seeing the pristine nature of Dave Uni you won't be disappointed. Not to mention, one of my friends has always told me one of the greatest things about Fiji is the Fijian people themselves. One interesting thing about Fiji, and particularly Tave Uni, is the tribal nature of the island. So they don't have a government on the island and areas are tribal, meaning they have a tribal chieftain. And if you live there, you have to be a part of the tribe and respect their tribal laws. Every Everything's off the grid and everyone has to be providing to the community, which is really interesting and the people there and the culture is very friendly and giving. Obviously they know you're a tourist and they want you to have a good time and if you were to just walk around and talk to the locals, everyone is always saying hi, everyone's very positive and upbeat, smiling. It is a very unique experience. I've never seen so many friendly faces and so many welcoming faces. So you could just go and hang out with the locals and learn about the local tribal ways. And I think that would be a great way to spend time on Taviuni as well. Have you heard of Taviuni before this video? Fiji is certainly a popular place, but if I put Taviuni on your bucket list and you want to go there after this video, or you've been there, let me know in the comment below. And now, let me interest you in another wonderful place that should be on every scuba diver's list, Socorro. If you haven't heard of it, or if it's on your list, check out this video next, and you won't be disappointed.